guys, my name is Dave Fuller. Thanks for being here. And we've got a, a really special guest, okay, that just happened to drop on by. This is Sensei Benny the Jet. He is an amazing, a legend, one of the greatest fighters of all time in any discipline. And put your hands together for him. I, I think it, I remember one time going up to uh, seeing you fight in Las Vegas. This would have been 1979. Uh, not Las Vegas, it's Lake Tahoe. Lake yeah, Tahoe. Yeah. And uh, the fight, all the matches were short, and you got in the ring with some guy, and you carried, because you wanted to make sure everybody that was there got a show. You carried the guy for like five rounds, you know, and, and, and then just so we could all be entertained by it. And just a uh, real, the thing about uh, this gentleman is, is not only is he an amazing martial artist, but more than that, he's an amazing person and man and, and an incredible role model. So uh, this is a real privilege and honor to have him speak with you a little bit about teaching martial arts. So, 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 so thank you so much for being here. John, yes, I do wear fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and again, you got to be tough to be wearing one of these. <laughs> no, being most important of all, but you know, to come here and actually to see all of you, like the school owners and so forth, that, that actually teach. You know, so again, to me, I know that there's three different type of teachers, and I know the first teacher. They, and not all of them that are trainers use the word trainers. That actually, a lot of them are car salesmen. They, they learn something and they pick it up and they sell it like a car. And they learn something, they pick it up without actually knowing about all about it. And so, not all, but a lot of them. And then you have, then you have coaches that go by the manual. Hey, we're going to do, this is the curriculum, we're going to do this, 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 this. And I said, but what about, no, 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 we're going to do this, 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 this. So there's no creativeness in the curriculum. It's just, this is the way it is, black and white, and no more than that. And then you have a teacher, a teacher that teaches you how to do it, how to do damage, and how to heal it. A teaching you the middle, the, the outer and the inner ways, and the middle ways of something, good teacher. Hey, we all look for mentors that make sense to us. And the mentors actually teach you three things that I've talked about. And this was actually uh, were done by a doctor. And he has said, the brain needs three things. The brain needs, first of all, focus on what it is that you want, that your soul can manifest it. Because if you don't know what you want, how can you make it happen? You need to know for your school, what do you want in your school? What do you want to see happen? And when you want to see it happen, let that let your soul make that happen. Let it work. And hey, get out of your way sometimes. All you're gonna do is show up and it's already working. Second, your mind needs hero. Hey? And you find a hero that again, this you like about what he's doing, and you take what he has and you make it yours. You modify it and make it yours. And third, you need mantras. Mantras are what you tell yourself in the morning. How many of you here got up this morning and said, oh, I can't wait to get there? Or some of you go, oh, man, that's a long drive over there. And so sometimes you think, what's the first thing that comes in your head? The mantras is, first of all, it should be the first thing that comes out of your mouth. Be thankful you have this day to do the things you love doing and be with people you love being with. Without that, there's a chemical in your body. We have better chemicals than any pharmacy in the world. And how to put those chemicals together to give you the results you're looking for is the I am cop son. What do you tell yourself the moment you get up? So when you get up and you're telling yourself, man, what a great day I do, you know, I can do the things I love doing, be with people I love being with, and actually being creative. So in that motivation, because through that motivation, hey, you are passing that on to your students. And if you're having a bad day, believe me, students catch it like that. Hey, you're the captain of the ship. And if you're not in a good place, everybody's feeling it. So you have to be able to, in order to motivate somebody or to inspire somebody, it has to come from you. So it all starts from you. Why? Because again, I think all of you, in my heart, I think all of you are brilliant at what you do. And you came in this world brilliant. Hey, and for some of you that are on the journey, finding that, Hey, is to live your purpose. How many of you think you're living your purpose? Okay, but that's the journey to find. What's my purpose? Once you find your purpose and you start to live it, 
there's no regrets. One day at a time. And that's what makes what we do so beautiful. There is no other business like, like this. Because why? First of all, we do this because we want to help people when they're stuck. Okay? We want to be able to pass on knowledge that we can help them going forward when they're stuck. Okay? And so they come here, and everybody comes here for a purpose. I'm tired of being picked on. Okay? I want more energy. I want more whatever, whatever it is that you, you know, you come here, your students are coming for the same thing that you first came and why you're doing what you're doing. Right, so, and that's, that's the beautiful part about what we do, is we can take this anywhere in the world, and all I need is my fanny pack. <laughs> that's all I need, and just go over there, I can go in the corner, and I can come back with gold. Because my gold is my experience, my knowing. That I will take with me. Eh? Not my car, my house, but my experience of knowledge, of knowing, is what I'm taking. That's my, what I call my riches. Okay. It should be yours too. Thank you very much.